In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the Social Security lump sum payout check and all the details you need to know, including who may be eligible, how much it could possibly be, and how do you become eligible for this type of payment. I have all the information plus a whole lot more for you right here in this video. As that is the focus, let's get into it and talk through all the details. Now, first off, yes, a lump sum payment from the Social Security Administration is a real thing and it is offered to some beneficiaries. Beneficiaries. Now, I do want to emphasize some beneficiaries are eligible for this, not everybody. But again, I will clarify exactly who may be eligible for this and again, how much you could possibly get from this. Now, there's a variety of different lump sum payments from the Social Security Administration based on the type of benefits that people are receiving, but we're only focusing on one type of benefit here in this video and I will come forward in separate videos and talk about all of the other types of payments and back pay that is offered to some beneficiaries as well in other instances. Instances. There's a lot of different pay, uh, payments like this out there. And again, I will focus on all of them for you in upcoming videos, as well as this one as well. However, really fast before we get into it, if you have not done so yet, make sure to do yourself a huge favor, hit the subscribe button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so. Right down below this video is the big old subscribe button waiting for you. Make sure to hit that if you have not done so yet. I'm here for you right by your side every single day, advocating on your behalf, doing all the research so you don't need to, answering questions and doing what I possibly can to maximize your monthly income, maximize your annual income, and maximize your lifetime income as well as helping you out with anything else out there right now. There's a lot of things that are changing. It's a rough time. Let's just say it how it is. The last couple of years have been brutal as far as the finances for the low income and fixed income. Either way, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below. I truly appreciate literally every one of you here in this community. We've got to stick together right now. Thank you so much. Really, really do appreciate it. All right, so let's talk about the details of this. Now, first off, a couple of things that you need to know is what is your full retirement age, which by the way, this is focused on Social Security retirement benefits, okay? So if you're an SSDI beneficiary, if you're an SSI beneficiary, uh, beneficiaries like this, make sure to stay tuned. I'll have dedicated videos for you as well, talking about uh, lump sum payments or big checks that can be distributed in these instances as well. But in this case, we're talking about Social Security retirement benefits. We need to know what your full retirement age is, okay? Now, generally, it's between the ages of 66 and 67. It's based on your year of birth, okay? You probably are know what that is. I've talked about it before in other videos, so I'm not really going to cover it right here on this one. But basically, it comes down to this. If you were born in 1960 or later, your full retirement age is 67 as of right now. That may be changing uh, based on what lawmakers do, but that's a totally another story and nothing has changed as of yet. Okay. However, here's what it comes down to. If you delay the filing of your benefit after your full retirement age, okay, so whatever that happens to be, it could be 66, it could be 66 in six months, it could be 67, whatever your full retirement age is, if you delay the filing of your benefit. Remember, you can file for your benefit as early as the age of 62. However, I want to say this much, if you file for your benefit prior to your full retirement age, so basically between 62 and your full retirement age, whatever that happens to be, this would not be eligible for you, okay? So as in, like you would not be eligible for this lump sum payment, okay? Now again, is this Social Security being mean? No, it's just the rules that they have here, okay? So this is uh, one of the uh, one of the different parameters around the program and one of the benefits of you know these to, uh, these benefits that are out there and delaying filing for benefits, okay? So again, it doesn't really matter if you want to file at 62. That's totally totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You've got to do what's best for you and your situation and your financial situation as well. Again, I can't sit here and tell you what to do. It's um, totally up to you. Everybody's situation is totally different, but. Here's what it comes down to. If you file for your benefit after your full retirement age, okay, so let's just say an example here. Your full retirement age is the age of 67. And again, this is just an example, okay? Okay, so your full retirement age is the age of 67. You decide, hey, I'm you know doing okay here financially. I might be able to scrape by for a little bit longer uh, on my savings, or maybe I'm working a little bit, or maybe I have a pension or something like that. And you decide, hey, I, I'm not gonna take my social security quite yet. I wanna let it ride for a little bit longer. That's fine, you can do that. Okay, so let's just say that you wait a full six months. Okay. Let's just say that you're 67 and six months old by the time that you decide, Hey, um, I'm going to go ahead and file for my benefit now. Okay. You can do that. It's totally fine. However, what you need to know is that for every one month that you file for your, or sorry, what every one month that you uh, delay filing for your benefit after your full retirement age, your benefits continue to increase by 0.667% or two thirds of 1% for every one month that you delay filing for your benefit after your full retirement age. So over the course of six months in this example that I'm 
given year, your benefits have now increased effectively 4%. Not bad, right? If you were to wait 12 months, your benefits would increase by 8%. And by the way, no, this is not the COLA that I'm talking about. This is an extra increase because you've delayed filing for your benefit, okay? So this is how much your benefits increase. So in this situation, in the example that I'm giving here, you've delayed filing for your benefit by six months, okay? So you're 67 and six months old. That is your age now, okay? Now you have uh, delayed that six months period of time. Your benefits have increased, again, 0.667% for every one month that you delayed. And in this case, that is 4%, okay? Not bad, right? Now let's say that you go to file, okay? So you're filing at the age of 67 and six months old, okay? In this case, you may be offered a one-time lump sum uh, payout from Social Security. How does it work? Here's what they basically do. They offer you, instead of taking that uh, that permanent 4% raise to your monthly benefit because you delayed by those six months, they may offer you a one-time lump sum and say, hey, we see that you've um, delayed filing for your benefit by a full six months. Would you like the back pay of that six months? And they're gonna offer you some big, big number, right? So think of it this way. Let's just say that your benefit is on average, well, not on average. Let's just say that your benefit at this time is $2,000 a month, okay? So in this case, you've delayed for six months. You could potentially be looking at a, a lump sum payment of $12,000, okay? Six months of delay by $2,000 per month is uh, that much, right? $12,000, okay? So they may be offering you a massive, massive check. If they were to come forward and say, hey, um, would you like a $12,000 check today? Um, <laughs> I think a lot of us would probably be like, ah, uh, yeah, just like, here's my bank account, you know, <laughs> send it right on over, right? So that's the cool part about this. Now, remember, if you were to take this lump sum payment, you would be forfeiting that extra 4% that you've accrued over that six month period of time that you've delayed waiting for your benefit, okay? That's kind of the exchange, okay? So they're offering you this big lump sum payment. It is not necessarily like a bonus payment. It's nothing like that. It's literally back payment or retroactive payment for all all the months that you've delayed uh, filing for your benefit, okay? That is what this is. Now, this is just a one-time thing. It's for those people that delay uh, filing for their benefit after their full retirement age. And it's the catch-up payment is basically what that comes out to, okay? Now, a couple other things that I wanna point out. And again, you would forego that extra 4% raise forever. So you might wanna run the math on that too and see what would an extra 4% on my benefit be over long periods of time? Would you actually be ahead by not taking that lump sum? And again, that's gonna be for you to figure out going forward. Your COLA will be above and beyond that as well and uh, you'll get a cola on top of that extra four percent raise and remember the four percent is forever in this case now one more thing i want to point out as well social security will pay out a lump sum of only up to six months no more than that okay so the lump sum that they will offer is only six months worth they will not offer more than that but they will potentially offer less than that okay this is where the lump sum uh payment actually comes in and yes this is offered to some people so that's why i said earlier in the video uh, this is offered to some people, but it's definitely not everybody. In fact, according to the statistics, 66% uh, of people file for their benefit uh, at the age of 62. Um, what was the other number? So it's like 20, what is it? 24%? Yeah, 24% of people wait until their full retirement age and only 10% of people wait until the age of 70. Okay, those are the most recent statistics about that. So you can clearly see only about, what is that? 34% of people actually wait till their full retirement age or after. Okay, so yeah, there you go. This is what it comes down to. So there are benefits of waiting, uh, delaying on your payment on Social Security, but again, you gotta figure out what's best for your situation. There's a ton of factors that go into picking the right age and the right time to file for your benefit. But this is one of the benefits of actually waiting a little bit beyond your full retirement age is that your benefits do increase. And if you decide to forego the actual lump sum payment, then you'll lock in that massive raise. Uh, like I said, 4% for every six months and uh, an 8% raise permanently for every 12 months that you delay afterward. Now, again, if you decide and if you plan on claiming your benefits for, say, 25, 30 years, well then <laughs> you're gonna be way, way ahead uh, if you delay. But again, I can't tell you what to do here. Just throwing that out there really quickly. So this is where the lump sum payment for Social Security comes in. I hope that explains it for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to leave that down below in the comment section. Otherwise, 
If you are a beneficiary receiving any, any other benefits other than retirement, like SSDI or SSI, yes, in some instances, there are lump sum um, retroactive payments for you as well, which I can, I can also focus on in a separate video. So hope that helps you. Again, as always, please make sure to subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Big subscribe button. And make sure to hit the like button down there as well if you'd like. The thumbs up button. Otherwise, make sure to go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including the thousands in the video library, the ones I've hand selected for you down below in the description description or at the top of the comment section, pinned comment there as well, or the ones that you see on your screen now. Enjoy those videos. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one. Uh, take care and I'll catch you again later in the next video.